Hi, hello and welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a useful topic and that topic deals with recording your Android device screen. Uh, recording your Android device screen is a little complicated in other operating systems. Other operating systems in the sense, if you want to record your Android device screen in gingerbread or ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, uh, you need super useful permission. For gaining super useful permission, you need to root your device and routing is complicated and dangerous in some of the devices but recording screen in Android devices running in KitKat operating system was made easier. It just need ADP toolkit batch files and it doesn't need any special permissions like rooting your Android device or it needs nothing. Well guys now let us step into the video. Here it comes. Okay now this folder is the collection of ADB batch files. Now I'm opening it. See, these are the batch files and DLL files uh, packed with all the codes and scripts. Uh, we don't need those things. You just want to hold your shift button in your Windows PC and just right click in the folder. See, you get open command window here option. If you're simply right clicking, there won't be any option like open command window but if you hold shift and if you click on right click see here comes open command window here this is the option which is which we are going to apply in recording your android device screen well now i haven't connected my android device to this pc now i'm connecting it the next main thing you need to record your screen is your android device drivers installed in your pc for Recording your screen using this ADB batch scripts, you need your Android device driver installed here. For checking that whether your Android device is recognized by your PC or not, just type this command ADB devices. Enter. Freak. See here. 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay. This is actually the device which is connected to this PC. I have one KitKat device connected to this PC, so it is shown here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, all the things arranged in a sequential manner. Just don't care about this thing. If your device is not recognized by your PC, then if you type this command ADB devices, uh, some in some cases this device name will be blank. Uh, in other cases, it will just state a message that no device is found. But now I have my drivers installed in my PC. The next thing what I'm going to do is I am going to paste the command which is going to record the screen of the KitKat device. See this, this I just uh, copied it previously so now I paste it by right clicking on it. ADB. The first part is to just access the ADB file here. See here is adb.exe right. This file actually contains all the scripts and uh, batch scripts and codings necessary for accessing your render device so in the first part of the command we are using it adb shell um, all the android kernels are based on uh, in all the android operating systems are based on linux kernels so this shell accesses the shell scripting feature or inbuilt feature of all the android devices adb shell the screen record this command or this batch shell file this is actually a shell script file it will be present inside the sbin folder of your android system folder every android system folder contains several folders if you are a well versed android developer then you should have known it the next thing is sd card this is this states the path where your video is going to be saved now I'm using my SD card as my default saving path. If you want any other path, then you can just move, 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 move. And if you are having a folder named, uh, let us take it as what? Mm, anything. If you are having a folder named Apple, then you should just type Apple and that's it. Add a slash, it will be saved to the folder named Apple, which is there in your SD card. That's it, but I'm not having a folder named Apple in my device. Well, if you're not having a folder named SD card in your device, then this method will throw an error that the path defined is not found. This path 
is your video name if you want to save your video as an mp3 file uh, mp3 file you can just add dot mp4 uh, sorry mp4 you can just add that mp4 to this video this file name is the file name uh, whatever you name you want you can specify it if you want for example a1 you can specify it as a1 okay now what we are going to do is just click on enter that's it now my device screen is recording on the other side you can see it on the other side of this video okay guys see this is my device um in case if you are recording your device with this option your device will be a little slower because the shell script is actually accessed by your pc so all the process running behind will get a little bit slow okay guys see recording that's it in case if you want to quit this recording option the thing which you want to do is just hold control in your pc and just click on c button control plus c that's it recorded that's it guys if you want to record another file then just type the same command and be cautious if you are using the same file name then it will not give any warning or error messages it will just override the file it will just override the previous a1 file with a new a1 recording so be cautious in choosing the file name and the path that's it guys uh if you like this video then just click on the like button which is over there the right corner i think so and if you want to experience more videos like this then just click on the subscribe button or uh, i had lots of options for making subscription to my channel easier that's it guys bye bye Let's